In this video, we'll look at the My Workspace feature in SmartShooter 5. This feature uses dockable and nested windows to give you a high degree of customization so that you can create exactly the workspace that you need for your workflow. To start with, let's take a look at the view menu. This is where all windows in Smart Shooter can be accessed and opened. You'll notice there are multiple loop and multiple live view options. So for example, if you have a multi-camera setup, you can have multiple live view streams visible at the same time. You'll also notice that Windows have additional settings available. For example, in barcodes, we see the settings associated with the barcodes. So all the controls are right there where you need them. Similar ideas have been applied in all windows across Smart Shooter. All windows will have the same capabilities. For example, anything can be opened as a floating window that can be positioned anywhere on screen or on a secondary display. Similarly, all windows will be able to be nested and selected as tabs in a nested group. You can select using the drop down menu as well. You can close individual tabs, or if you'd like to close the group, you can do that here. You can also break all the tabs out into a floating window, which behaves exactly as we saw before, just as a nested group of windows. Next, let's use the docking feature to build a workspace. As you can see, we can grab a floating window and we'll see a series of icons available. These icons represent that you can dock the window in any of the four cardinal positions or nest the window using the center icon. I'll nest the window here and note the purple overlay that indicates the window position. I'll continue to build my workspace by docking the session window under camera controls. I'm also going to grab the film strip and move it to the right edge. You'll see the film strip can be positioned vertically in Smart Shooter 5. You can also use the grab bar to resize to any two adjoining windows. I'm going to continue by closing some of these extra tabs, and I'd like to add a live view in the primary window area. I'm going to nest it behind the preview window. You can see you can drag the order of nested windows in your workspace. Finally, I'm going to save the workspace here in the workspace menu. Give the workspace a name and hit OK. Now this workspace is available just like any workspace in Smart Shooter 5. I can use the workspace switch workspace to choose any available workspace that I've saved. You can seamlessly switch between workspace using the switch workspace menu item. And you can always reset Smart Shooter to the original arrangement using the default workspace. If you need to delete a workspace, you can do that in the workspace menu as well. Select delete workspace and then use the drop down to just select the workspace you'd like to delete. Hit OK and it's gone. As you can see, Smart Shooter 5 has some great new features that allow you to build exactly the workspace that you need for your specific workflow. That's the My Workspace feature in Smart Shooter 5.